I want to know when you knew you were meant to be called to be an actor. An actor? Oh. Um, I think when I, when I booked the first thing I ever auditioned for, I thought, oh, maybe there's something here. Uh, and that was, uh, that was like when I was 23, but I, I, I didn't really think about the long-term implications. I just thought, well, I didn't expect to get that job and maybe God had something in mind for me as a performer. Did you know what you wanted to be when you grew up, when you were a kid or when you were in like high school? I wanted to, uh, yeah, well, <clears throat> well, those are two different answers. Um, as a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut. As in high school, I know I wanted to be in film. I thought I was gonna go into special effects. I went to an art school, I studied film, and then, uh, and then I realized, because I went to art school in New York, we didn't quite have the programs that they have in California for special effects training. So I thought, once I went to film school, I thought, you know what, maybe I'll be a director. And then I, I, uh, I had taken some acting classes as prerequisites to, you know, because we had to. And then I thought, you know, maybe, maybe I should give acting a shot just to know what an actor goes through to be a better director so I can direct them better. And then I ended up auditioning for this one job for MTV and I booked it. I'm like, wait a second, what does that mean? So there were signs that you were in your wheelhouse, and then yeah. you end up auditioning for the role of Jesus. Many, 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 many years later, yes. <clears throat> and obviously, you know, it's been a journey. But how much has Jonathan Rumi's life changed? You are already very much a faithful man. Faith has always been important to you from what I've read. But now that you've really, you have the role of a lifetime, how is it different from, say, a decade ago? Uh, I mean, it's it's indescribably different. It's unquantifiably different. It's uh, it's it's heads and tails different. Um, you know, ten years ago, ten years ago, I was just getting started in L.A. Really, I was just a couple of years in L.A., three years in L.A. And you have an idea of how you think your career is going to go, what steps to follow. And then you have reality. And uh, very often, the two don't quite, you know, um, line up. Energize. Yeah, they don't really, they don't really sync up. And, uh, and so I got to a point where I was basically desperate and uh, out of money and out of food. And, and I just realized in that moment that I had no other alternative but to completely and wholly rely on my faith and um, to just offer everything up in prayer, to surrender my notions, my concept of what it meant to, to have a career, to, to be successful, to, to survive, and offer that up to God and just say, God, you show me what, where you want me to go and what you want me to do because at this point I'm out of options and I'm giving it to you. And he did. He did that very day that I actually had that made that prayer and changed my life in an instant, in a matter of hours, from the time I had this prayer to the time I, I came back to my apartment. I left my house, come back, and all of a sudden I experienced this incredible financial windfall that came out of nowhere and made me realize that, okay, that's that was the thing that I hadn't done. I hadn't surrendered. I hadn't given it up. And you and Dallas use that word. Do you believe that you two were divinely connected? Yeah, I think this is part of God's plan for sure. When you meet people who know you play Jesus, do you think that you have some sense of responsibility to portray him? I mean, from the Gospels, the book of Matthew, you know, learn from me, take my yoke upon you, for I am meek and lonely of heart. This show is all about a different depiction of Jesus than maybe the world has ever seen. Do you feel responsible for making sure that that real image of Jesus is known? I feel responsible to show up and give everything that I have to this role. And then what God does with it is up to him. Yeah, I have to just continue to participate and let him lead. And as long as I do that, everything is beyond my comprehension and better than I could have ever thought through it myself. 
how do you think you've been able to so successfully be in this role? I mean, people have remarked at how much you have brought your heart, brought your faith, and brought this sense of peace. I mean, watching you on camera, there's no denying that it's, it's special. Uh, grace, just God's grace, it's, that's, that's how I'm able to be here. In terms of people who maybe are not of faith, but they have heard about the show, how would you describe the show to them? They've never walked in a church. The show is a, uh, a very well-told historical drama about the life of Jesus and his disciples. And he is a man who changed the world, whether or not you believe he was the son of God or is God. Uh, he changed the world, uh, you know, uh, forever. And, uh, and so I think there's a character that anyone who watches the show, there's at least one character that anybody who watches the show will be able to identify with. And nine out of 10 people can't get through an episode without weeping or connecting or being reminded of some part of their own life that they see played out, but brought into the light and uplifted. And, uh, and I think what we, what we do, what we make with the show, is uh, <clears throat> is such a relief compared to all the darkness that's in media right now. All this, a lot of the storytelling that we see in um, most major networks and streaming networks. There's just so much darkness and heaviness, and and it's uh, it's 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 the world is dark and you know heavy to begin with, especially right now. And so to have uh, a show that kind of brings a ray of light and gives people hope, uh, gives people something to believe in that is bigger than themselves, I think, I think is, a, is a great service to, to culture and to the world. Are you changing the world? God's changing the world through the project that I'm working on. This Sunday, watch The Chosen at 8, 7 central. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.